Hello everyone and welcome to the Grief Burrito Podcast. I am your host Harrison Wilde and if this is your first episode you're joining us on, it's a very special one. We're usually a game and a movie comedy podcast but today this is our monthly paranormal episode. To my left I have my co-host Jordan Shenton, say hello. Yes, hello. Uh, yes. <laughs> yes I am. Yes. And we have a very special guest all the way from California right now. It's Liana from the Night Guys podcast. Hello, everybody. I am so excited to be here today. And by here, I mean in California. <laughs> yeah, virtually here. E here. Uh, here in sort spirit. Of here. Yeah. <laughs> the first thing, Liana, I actually have to say to you is uh, pip pip. <laughs> God, you actually said it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was listening to your episode the other day and it really made me laugh. So I was like, right. I actually wrote it down specifically to remember to say that. Oh, when Erica said it, I was like, wow. Oh my God. I can't believe you did that. I know what it is. So, <laughs> say that so awesome. Evening. So awesome of you. Pip, pip, tally ho. <laughs> let's go. Let's go, old chap. <laughs> yeah, all the time. So how are we both? How are you, Liana? You okay? Uh, I am great. It is 6.30 in the morning and I am on half of my first cup of coffee oh, so God. let's see how the rest of the I'm day so goes sorry. I'm so sorry I'm so so sorry no 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 it's totally okay I'm I'm happy to be up early for this I have to say though Erica my co-host is super jealous and sad that she's not here but then at the same time she's also at comic-con today so she yeah, can suck it that's a good reason yeah I wish we were at comic-con yeah swings and roundabouts <laughs> yeah. like there you go, that's another English one yeah, for swings you. and roundabouts <laughs> you know what <laughs> like this for that Kind Sorry. Of, yeah. So it's like you are not at Comic Con. However, you are talking to us. So yeah. you're winning. But yeah, swings winning, and roundabouts. Basically. Next time you may be there and she might not be. Yeah, exactly. Oh, I go. like that. Yeah, okay. Putting it. that one in my pocket for later. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. How are you, Jordan? What have you been doing? <laughs> I'm doing good, man. Feeling a bit ropey after going out last night, but yeah. I'm powering through. <laughs> Jordan uh, was a late boy last night. Yes, he oh. was. Jordan, uh, <laughs> in, in Macclesfield, we have this like really historic, like, it's called the 108 Steps and the Super Steep. I don't know if you've seen them. Uh, it's near the train station. No. Um, so I was going to walk home because I didn't want to drink anymore. Mm-hmm. I was like, I'm fine. I'm just going to head home. So um, I did that. And then someone grabbed my arm and tried to race me up them. And I got like <laughs> 20 steps up and just stopped dead in my tracks. Like, I'm smarter than this. Yes, what am I doing? Did... And then just walk straight back down. <laughs> I'm an adult and I can make my own choices. Yeah, I was like, why am I being paid pressure into sprinting upstairs? <laughs> yeah. Uh, so last night I was in a cholera grave. <laughs> what Segway. the hell <laughs> yeah i was gonna ask what were these spooky tunnels that you went into yeah basically un- underground manchester there's um a load of tunnels that they built that were supposed to be like railway stations like the london underground and at the time they were built to be air raid shelters during the war so there's like all um... shops and housing spaces and these ones when they dug them up they actually found a load of cholera graves like mass graves full of like this is obviously very into the paranormal thing today. This is yeah. going well. Yeah. So yeah, there was hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people found down there. And then this was an art installation by some people who came over from Japan to show off the graves. And they were saying how back then people drank beer instead of water because the boiling process and the fermentation killed the cholera in the water. Yeah. So they were making beer right down on. there. <laughs> And then they invited us to drink the beer, and I was like, no, 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 no. <laughs> I think you'll find I want to live. Yes, no, thank you very much. So how long does cholera last in terms of, like, its, I guess, life cycle? Apparently, they do still find live cultures in the graves. So I, and I really? feel a bit sick so today. So did you shower off before? Th- Straight away, yes. <laughs> Hanging out? Okay. Yeah, yeah, don't worry. And yeah, I'm it's, sat further away from yeah, us today, so I'm happy about that. <laughs> I said it was for comfort. I yeah, lied. Yeah. No, I just didn't want to get cholera. <laughs> um, yeah, so it was interesting. Uh, and then last night, wow. I actually didn't tell you this yet, Jordan. Another wonderful story. Stop lying to me. I'm not lying. <laughs> um, and we stayed at Helen's parents' house last night because um, they've just got back from Spain and that, so she went to see him. And in the night, apparently her dad went to have a wee and found there was someone looking through the window with a torch. What? Just like no. fucking scoping out the house. And I woke up with injection no. on my fucking arm. And then when I got home, my front door was open. <gasps> Yeah. What the fuck? All this while researching Area 51. So now I feel like I'm a marked individual. <laughs> Why? Like, Why would you not tell me this? I don't know. <laughs> oh, you're targeted. Oh, uh, oh, man. It has dragging Should me we all get our tinfoil? <laughs> yeah, definitely. I'm covered in tinfoil right now. <laughs> it's so hard to block <laughs> out the rust. <laughs> 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 oh, right. oh uh, that's crazy. Before we, we get into our game news and movie news, before we get into our spookiness, uh, I just need to give a quick shout out to the new listeners in Delaware, got another new state. Uh, we've got New South Wales in Australia, which is not the old Wales. And I don't know if you remember, that it was on either the third or fourth episode, we, we tested out a game called Neon Boost. 
Yeah, yeah. You remember them? And we gave them that Falcon Force 4 name. Falcon Force 4. Falcon Force 4. They've just got 100,000 downloads on their game. Holy shit. Congratulations, yeah. guys. I know. And they, they messaged me saying Falcon Force 4 forever. So fuck yeah, guys. I'm fucking well excited. Oh, Haz looks so happy. Yeah, I am. It's, it was such a good game to play. So I'm really glad it's doing well. Shall we get into some game news? It's time for us to talk about games. New ones. ones. Games. Yeah, new ones. Games. Yeah, new ones. Did they mention that they're new? Yes. yes. Do you know anything, Jordan? Have you, have you looked up anything? <laughs> I know nothing. I know nothing. <laughs> See, the, th- the main interest that got me this week was a few Minecraft players, uh, only one that I could find of by the name of Squids. For the past nine years, I've been creating the entirety of Middle Earth as seen in The Hobbit and Lord of the Rings. You bow to no one. Exactly. Oh, so you saw, yeah, exactly. you saw the post. Oh uh, my God, that's amazing. I want to go play so bad now. Yeah. <laughs> and Liana, like, I mean, it's everything. Like from Bilbo's house, like where Sam gets pulled through the window and like Gandalf hits his head. Oh my They've got Gandalf's God. firework cart. They've got all the forests, the fields. They've got the entirety of Rivendell, Minas Tirith, Mordor. It's incredible, isn't it? The yeah. amount of dedication people put into that. I know. And I like, imagine Creepers I really walking. love that. I appreciate that. Yeah, it's so cool. We'll have to see if we can get on there. Yeah, jump on the server. Yeah, just yeah. try and go wander around all of us, see what we can find. Ah, oh, that'd be so cool. Imagine if they put like, oh, is there a way to do NPCs in Minecraft now? I don't know. That'd be kind of cool. If they could figure that out, that'd be awesome. You could just make a Lord of the Rings game in Minecraft. Yeah, yeah the whole <laughs> thing in there. Yeah, that'd be so cool. I like the weird villages that look like Squidward. Yeah, <laughs> they are great. <laughs> What's more terrifying, an Uruk or that? Well, yeah, definitely the Squidward. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, uh, but that's all I've got for game news today. It was literally that was the only noteworthy thing that I was like, yeah, we've got to talk about that. Yeah, it's a bit of a quiet week, really. It has been at the moment. Um, but for sort of movie and TV news, we have got quite a lot. Movie news. Do you know it? Movie news. I don't know it. Movie news. Do you know it? I got some news about movies. No, I've never heard of it. Well, the Witcher trailer's exactly. out. Exactly. Have you seen that, Liana? I don't want to talk about it. It makes me mad. <laughs> it makes you mad? I'm not a fan of Henry Cavill, oh, and I no. don't yeah. like him as Geralt. I no. think he looks stupid. It's he does. very irritating. I've got opinions. I'm sorry. No, it's fine. <laughs> no, it's fine. That's what we want your opinions, because I was very down on the idea. Like, I don't really like Henry Cavill either, and I don't think many people do. Yeah, <sighs> I feel like he kind of, with the Superman stuff. Yeah. Like, I think people generally thought Man of Steel was all right, but Batman okay. versus Superman and stuff like that. It's dog shit. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's garbage. <laughs> Just. Yeah. Ugh. But, yeah. you know, if he does it well, I don't really mind. No, like, no. It's, it's going to be interesting. The trailer looked good. Like, just, I'll give it that. I just hope it's not too dramatic, though. I don't want, like, a fucking Game of Thrones-style drama. I it just looks want to very see Game of Thrones. Ga- Geralt just, like, tearing through monsters. Yeah. <laughs> but his sword's on Roach, apparently. Yeah, yeah, he doesn't have two swords, uh, does he? You know, but that's, I guess, what, what they're doing in the books, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I just, uh. my thing is, I like the humor, the really random dry humor that's in the game. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I will have such a weird problem with him delivering it, because I just don't, he's not funny at all. No, like, very at all to me. Yeah, well, that's he's just a pretty face, isn't he? Mm, not even that. But he's yeah. not even that pretty. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I feel so mean <laughs> saying that. Sorry, that's Henry, not very if you're nice, listening. He's not. He's I not. wish he, he was. Is. He is. He's not. Uh, at, at me, bitch. <laughs> at me, chill. <laughs> I think Geralt is very pretty, and I don't think Henry Cavill is well, very apparently pretty. Apparently, he's not so. meant to be very pretty. No, in the book, he's well, not. you know what I mean. Like, he's, I just yeah, He's, no. like, ruggedly handsome. Mm-hmm. Yeah, of course. But it's just, but, it's going to be interesting. So let's, I'll uh, be, I like the big spider. And probably, I'm trigger. definitely going to watch it. Not probably. I'm definitely going to watch it and I'm probably going to be grouchy about it. And then I'm just going to go play the game instead. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, they just made a fucking TV show adaptation of just Witcher 3. Yeah, just that one. so again. happy. Oh. Where Yennefer's a... room key is a common item. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, that made me laugh so much. Yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to think what else I saw. Oh, from Comic Con. Did you see any of the news from there? Oh, all the... Uh, all the new Marvel yeah, films. that's going to be... Yeah, we're getting Blade. We're getting Fantastic Four. We're getting... Was it Doctor Strange... Multiverse of mysteriousness, or something, something like that. Why can't they just let <laughs> Fantastic Four die already? I know, yeah. Just put it out of its misery. No, they just, they're just dying to bring it back, aren't yeah. they? God left me unfinished. Oh God! <laughs> <laughs> Every moment I'm alive is pain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, what else is there? Oh, there's the new Thor, which is called like 
Thunder and Love or something. That it it sounds so eighties. It does. It's I just the Led it. Zeppelin soundtrack. Like that's what it's going to be. I need it in my life. I'm so no. excited. No, I, I love the last Thor film. It was one of my favorite Marvel films. So yeah. I'm glad it's Taika Waititi oh, again. So good. Fucking Jeff Goldblum. Though. I know. Yeah. <laughs> as soon as I saw him. Fighter. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's my birthday. <laughs> He's so good. He's like the campiest thing in his little dressing gown and slippers. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, what else did we see on there? I'm trying. Oh, we got. Uh, What's the new... Help me. Help me, Jordan. Send me help. <laughs> there is no help for There's you. There is no help. Uh, the Terminator. <laughs> the new Terminator. Ooh. Yes. Uh, yeah. And, Liana, we had a chat about it, didn't we? They've actually got... Yeah. Uh, what's his name? The young actor. <sighs> I was going to say, Arnie. Um... No. <laughs> <laughs> How did you forget? The film's about Oh, my God. Arnie. I've already forgotten his name. The guy who plays John Connor, basically, in Terminator 2. They're getting him back, even though he's like meth boy. He's like... <laughs> so gross looking i know have you not seen a picture of him no right. go. i'm looking now we're doing a live a live thingy you, know, you his, don't know his name what's his right terminator 2 john boy edward furlong edward we furlong suck. thank <laughs> you did you just google it <laughs> right edward furlong he's what i'd imagine the reverse macaulay culkin to look like yeah, 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 yeah. He's like a reverse. He's still a meth head, yeah. obviously, but... I don't know if he is anymore. Fuck. Like, I'm sorry, again, if you're listening. We don't mean to offend you. Um, <laughs> don't, don't do meth. <laughs> no. Meth's not good. Don't do meth. I mean, yeah. no. he doesn't look... Must the... be a titleless episode, don't do meth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, when you so I don't know, I feel... Edward Furlong. I feel like point. my description to about him was pretty accurate. Yeah, yeah, yeah it was obviously when you where I Edward said Furlong, that he was a haggard old woman that pushes a shopping cart and lives he, in the woods. He does and like eats passing children. Yeah. And <laughs> so I presume that picture now, where he's got short hair, is the most recent one. I'd imagine because if you search him, no. Edward Furlong, twenty nineteen, it says bloated is the top like related oh, search, God. and I feel so bad. <laughs> <laughs> That's so horrible. <laughs> Imagine he's like sat there going to Google himself. Uh, oh, oh, I'm blown. Yeah, so I think he's going to be in the prison in the prison break thing. That's what we said, didn't we, Liana? Yeah. It, he'll feel very at home there. Yeah. In I prison. Don't, I don't know how that will Won't have to act too hard. Story. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Jesus. I'm going to put those horns in the background. <laughs> Shots fired yep. big time. Can't help Rockets it. Rockets launched. Uh, the other movie news I saw, we're getting a, a Warhammer 40,000 live action series. Uh, uh, exactly. Why? Um, I don't know. It's going to be brought to us by Big Light Productions. What did so they make? Uh, they came off making The Man in the High Castle for Amazon TV. They said it's going to be a very character focused around Gregor Eisenhorn, uh, working to uncover alien demons and heretical schemes. So, what I know about 40K mm -hmm. uh, is that the. I completely forgot the Space Marines mm -hmm. are basically giant space racists. Basically. That that is it. That's spacious. There's, no, there's nothing else to it. Did you know the good guys in that are actually the Tau? Really? Yeah, they're the good guys of the overarching weird alien guys narratives. Yeah, which weird. is such a weird like because it's just you get Space Marines, Chaos Marines, Necrons, and then like Imperial Guard who are just normal blokes. Mm -hmm. But all of it is like yeah, the Tau are the good guys. Oh, I didn't even know that. Yeah, can't go around genocide in the universe. No, no, I used to like painting the models when I was a kid, but oh, it was right. just because I liked me doing arty stuff. Yeah. And being a nerd. Ha! Huh, nerd! nerd. <laughs> nah, I, to be fair, same. I did try and play some of the games, but it wasn't for wasn't for me. Oh, the RTS is a good. Yeah. No, I mean like the actual with the models. Oh, and I was just like, it smells bad in this shop. <laughs> <laughs> Hannah said she went in recently and like walked in. She was looking for some paints or something yeah. to do a uh, model car or something like that. Mm -hmm. uh, and she said like just all the guys just turned around and stared at her. She was like, oh no, never mind. Never just mind. walked straight Literally out. like the Simpsons episode when a girl goes into the comic book shop and they're like, <gasps> like scuttle away. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like bed bugs. I can yeah, yeah. confirm that that is accurate, and really? it is very awkward, especially yeah. when you're asking for help for looking for something. It's like just forget it. I'm just gonna go buy it online. Yeah. I don't even want to be here. Is it really that hard being a girl nerd? Yeah, oh. and it's always really weird when you're talking about playing games and people are like, "You play games?" I'm like, "It's not that uncommon, man." No, like, it's, it's really not. not that weird. Just because I don't like reading magazines, and I don't even I don't even know what normal girls do. I cannot figure it out. <laughs> with their time you because are a normal like, girl rather... yeah you are a normal girl That's well the thing. i mean you know what i mean like the ones that don't like video games like i don't know what girl, they do with their time because yeah. i'm like i would rather be doing xyz video game yes whatever well, i don't i, I, I just don't understand media. but whatever man i just i like my games yeah we all do and yeah. it's not that weird no, definitely not. not I remember when, mm -hmm. like, playing Xbox 360, playing Halo, mm -hmm. and like a girl would be in the in the lobby talking, 
Uh, and like all the people I was playing with would be like, oh my God, there's a girl playing this, but just not making a big deal of it. It's like yeah. we ended up talking and just becoming friends because it's like, yeah, those guys were super intense. Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> don't, don't, <laughs> don't, feel bad. don't feel bad about it. It's fine. They're just weird. And most of the time- That's actually one of the main reasons that I never really liked multiplayer was really? because it was just like, it became such a weird stigma thing where you're like, oh, it's a girl. Oh, and then they'd be like, they'd say really horrible, crude, gruesome things, which, you know, I can handle, but I'm mm -hmm. just like, I, I would yeah. rather just play the game. So I do campaign solely now. That's yeah, it. You shouldn't have to put with that no, stuff. That's no shame. one should. That's just when you've got I to also get just so don't good like people that much. So kick the fuck that's... out of them in every match. And just be like, there you go, I'm first. <laughs> I did that on a friend of mine's Dark Souls account. Oh, really? Because she was playing Dark Souls for the first time and some guy invaded who was like, way, way. Mm -hmm. like geared like hell with everything uh, and just like Rude. backstabbed him like 35 times <laughs> he was like wow you're pretty good for a girl i was yeah. like you have no idea yeah. <laughs> come at me bro <laughs> right i i think we should now get into our spookiness yeah for for today's episode because it might be a long one this one it might be a super episode buckle up to your seats oh, no, don't, don't. it's time is it what time is it for spooky and i, I kind of want to come at it as oh, like it's a game gonna... yeah you know so this is what you're going to be up against when you guys <laughs> inevitably try to invade area 51 which liana is going to oh wow you're actually going <laughs> yeah Try not so to, yeah. i'm not going to be part of the raid i am going however to camp at the little alien oh, um, yeah, yeah on the 19th and 20th because i was actually i was like i'll book a room and then i was like of course they're booked duh yeah. but they had camping stuff available and sean and i love to camp that's my husband yeah so that's we're so pretty cool. so you're gonna sit, sit on the ridge with your binoculars watching everyone get mown down by lasers <laughs> oh i plan on i plan on watching whatever goes on and i'm going to find out where the action is and i'm gonna film it and awesome. i'm gonna live stream it like you requested yeah please do i'd love so, to watch that oh can i start yeah. off with some wholesome news by the way yeah go very go wholesome so okay. there was a post put on facebook mm -hmm. by uh the longview animal care and adoption center okay and what they've done is they've put alien like googly eyes and stuff on the animals <laughs> right and they've said do you want to storm area 51 and find aliens you can do that right here at longview animal care and adoption center area 51 secret second location is 303 hg mostly pkwy in longview texas we won't resist and you can take them all our aliens go home with you for the best price in the galaxy adoption fees included Oh, that's amazing. Oh, and it's great. I love these, that. It's something really nice that's come out of all this complete absurdity. Yeah. And all these little cute animals with all the little, like, just weird Tin headdresses foilers. and yeah, stuff. I've yeah, seen some of the foil. Like, <laughs> and they're so antenna. cute. And it's, it's great. And it's so nice to see that something's coming out of this that can really do some good. Yeah, so, yeah. So, yeah, guys, Aww. if you're going there, make sure to drive back past the Longview, what was it? The Longview Animal Sanctuary. Uh, Longview Animal Care and Adoption Center. That's Please L A C A C 5 1. And go and get yourself yeah. some doges. And cats. And cats. Oh. And birds. And whatever else we got. Birds. <laughs> birds. <laughs> they might have birds. <laughs> Is this a cat in a hat? Yeah. <laughs> uh, right. So who wants to start with a bit of background around Area 51? Do you want to go, Jordan? Do you want to go, Liana? Or should I go? Um, do you want to take it? And then I can do. I don't mind. Um, cool. Your voice. Works for me. Go. Okay. Um, right. I want to put it to you guys that Nutsford, where I live, right, is the weird center of the universe. Because everything comes back to there. <laughs> okay. Right? Okay. So, for example, General Eisenhower in 1944 planned the D-Day landings from the little pub that I worked in there. Okay. Right? Wow. Exactly. It's called the Bells of Peaver. It's fucking weird. And after the war, <laughs> <laughs> after the war ended, um, in like, I think it was 1954, he authorized the work being put in to work on a top secret aircraft that was capable of high altitude recon yeah um its project mm -hmm. was called project aquatone and they needed an area to begin the research so they chose an area near the nuclear nevada test sites which were named area one two three and on and on and on and the space where area 51 now occupies had previously been a gunnery range which is next to area 15 from what i can see so i mm -hmm. think it was it wasn't actually an area but because it was so close to 15 they just reversed it okay um <laughs> I don't know why they could have just called it Area 16. That's but one of the things, yeah. yeah. It <laughs> could be <laughs> one of like 20 different reasons. Yeah, yeah. So this place is right by Groom Lake. And the base, as we, we know it, is still a huge mystery. And it was only actually acknowledged to exist in a document in 2013. And we still don't really know what they're doing there. I did have a watch through 
some of the Washington Post video articles about Area 51's classified information. It really made me laugh because it showed like a really shitty rubber alien model. And the annotation was, this is not a real alien. <laughs> As if it needs to fucking clarify Just to it. confirm. Yeah. You never know, they might be made out of rubber. You oh, don't yeah, know you do. I suppose you never How know. How dare you? Yeah. But when they, um, apparently when they were flying over it, mm-hmm. uh, one of the notes that were taken was uh, saying, we flew over it and within 30 seconds you knew that it was the, the place. It was, was right Russia? by a dry lake. Sorry? Is this Russia who flew over it? Uh, no, I think this was when they were trying to set up where they wanted to oh, right, host okay. it because right, right. they needed somewhere secret mm-hmm. to do these tests. Yeah. Um, and it's just them saying that it was the perfect place to land. It was like as smooth as a billiards table without yeah. anything being done to it. Right, so they right. literally just found it by chance. It's Groom Lake, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. And it's a massive yes. salt lake deposit or something along those lines. Isn't oh, is it, it? Is salt flats? I think it is. Yeah, salt ah, flats. Okay. I didn't know that. Or I'm it lying is. to you. I'm so sorry. The, All right. The lake, has, the lake has kind of dried out and become a salt flat. Ah, cool. We were actually talking about salt flats today. I'd love to go and see one. Because when they get like a little bit of rain, they turn into a giant mirror, don't they? Yeah. You look like you're floating in the sky. Strange. Science. Science. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I also... um, Area 51 is actually called the Nevada Test and Training Range at Groom Lake. It's not called okay. Area 51. We just call it that because it's fun. And it's, it's actually home to the Homey Airport or Homey Groom Lake Airport. Airport. So home of the home. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's not called Area 51. That's just its kind of slang term because ah, okay. we don't really know what else to call it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> It's, or we didn't for the longest time. Like, there's something that I don't get is like how many people actually work there because it's quite a big area, isn't it? Well, there are a thousand odd flights every couple of weeks. Yeah, taking people or every month, sorry, taking going people in and to out. and from. Yeah, yeah. I, I found some information through a Business Insider video that um, if you leave from Las Vegas Airport and if you keep an eye out for some of the small unmarked passenger jets on one side that are all fenced off. Um, Mm -hmm. they're noticeable by like a red stripe that runs down the center Uh, this Mm -hmm. is how the employees get to and from the base for their work shift they fly them in and out none of them wear uniforms it's called Janet yeah Yeah. Janet Janet Air it is Mm -hmm. yeah that's insane what's the Janet stand for again it's joint I don't remember joint American (laughs) joint aliens not in in (laughs) (laughs) in transit I'll I'll have a quick look for it I know I completely forgot what it was called but yeah it's um it's just like passenger flights. That's pretty much the only way they can get in uh, because they're all mm-hmm. coming from Vegas. Yeah, yeah. And with it being such a like an inhospitable location, like it's in the middle of like you know Vegas is in the middle of just nowhere. Yeah, I've driven there. It's a long drive through the desert. Yeah, and it's insane. Like if you just break down or something, and no one comes for like five hours, you're fucked. No one comes. Yeah. But it's like it's even worse. Mm-hmm. It's just out in the middle of nowhere. It's so difficult to get to, and that's why it's such a great. Like, great place great location and it's surrounded by nuclear tests so yeah, if you try and get through yeah. there you're just irradiated to death it's great so they've got to fly yeah but they're the only yeah and they don't want to even... do security checks on a thousand cars no. they'd rather just have them go through that stuff on an airplane not even military vehicles are allowed to or military um like aircraft are allowed to land there no you can't even fly over it nope only yeah. those passenger jets the people that are allowed in and out oh. that's it no other vehicles i know that russia did fly over with a drone recently to get aerial recon photos did they like a super high jet yeah yeah i saw some of the images online uh, it's one of the ones that i used to zoom in and have a look because they've got a couple of fighter jets and black hawk helicopters on the runways that i could see oh okay. this might be why my door was open last night <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they're like and he's doing a podcast on it get him get him get him <laughs> get that yeah, make an example of him so this might be my last <laughs> podcast guys sorry if, you, if i disappear <laughs> I, I all I could find really about the actual area itself is that obviously you you can't drive in. There's got a, I think it's a 16 kilometer cordoned off area that's got armed guards and tons of gates and tons stuff of like gates, that. Yeah, mm-hmm. uh, they've got magnetic and detection. lots of little like um, posts with cameras on them yep. to just watch the whole the whole basin actually just around it and um, inside. So pretty what scary. I'm, what I'm sort of gleaning from the information we've got here is you can't fly in. So you guys are hoping to get in. You will not be able to do it from the air. Um, <laughs> but they definitely try. Yeah, well, let's, let's try parachuting in, <laughs> Fortnite style. You're not going to be able to go over the ground. So my only other thought was you're going to have to tunnel in. You have to go under. But because of all the radioactive tests that they never cleared out, all this radioactive emissions were just going into the air that they never actually cleaned up for like 50 years. They just left it. Yeah. No one knows how far this radioactive material blew in the air, like fucking Chernobyl style. So be careful down there, Liana. Mm-hmm. Oh, I've already driven past the, the base once before. Oh, really? oh, right. No way. 
like a, mm, I don't know, a long time ago, but I feel like I would have grown an extra arm out of my torso at one point. <laughs> if only if radiation was a that real cool. issue. I know, yeah. It's never that cool. It just makes your skin fall off. <laughs> yeah, it's shit. I <laughs> know. I did watch Chernobyl finally, and it is very damn. good. It's still not done. I need to finish it. It's. I know that it wasn't watch. super scientifically accurate with the um, with the radioactive poisoning and stuff like that. But really? I thought it was quite. Ugh. I thought it was quite accurate. It was, I heard it wasn't. I heard that that people that scientists were getting really mad. <laughs> oh really? Oh, I'll have to have a look up. Yeah, about that. That sucks. Yeah, we'll definitely. Oh. I heard scientists were getting really mad about it because they're like, "Your skin does not fall off like that. You just burn and then die." And uh, I was like, "Oh, okay." okay. <laughs> so Janet, by the way, um, stands for what well, people seem to think is just another non-existent terminal. That's which, cool. Oh, but I like that. it's also sometimes known as the Joint Air Network for Employee Transportation. Oh, right. So, yeah, nothing that as interesting as I sense. thought it would be. No, no. That's kind of upsetting, really. <laughs> I need to have it as the one we said. Yeah. yeah. At the alien transport. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> um, so, yeah, if, if you tunnel under, all you're going to get is, like, radioactive worms just fucking all about you. So, you yeah. so tremors? Basically. Ah. Get Kevin Bacon in on this. Kevin, <laughs> listening. <laughs> well, loads of famous people have said they're going, but they're not. Yeah. They're not going to go. Keanu Reeves is going. Chuck Norris, Elon Musk. Chuck Norris can just. Bite I'm going to be looking for them. All the guards are going to be, be like, looking. shit. <laughs> not him. Oh, God, he's here. Chuck Norris and Naruto are running at the yeah, front of the gate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I need this in my life. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> Uh, right, Liana, you, you did a lot of research when we've been talking the past few days. So you've been looking at Bob Lazar, haven't you? Uh, I did watch the Bob Lazar thing that was on Netflix. And after watching it, I was like, oh my God, everything is real. Yeah. That's so crazy. And then I read some more stuff about Bob Lazar and I have, I'm back in the middle of not knowing who to believe. Oh, really? <laughs> so, yeah. um, just because there's, I'm, I don't know how to describe my my opinions on him because everything that he was saying was so compelling and he's he seems so genuine he and does. he just yeah. he seems like he really believes everything that he's saying he's been stuck but, to the same story for 30 years yeah. so it's difficult to not kind of believe mm -hmm. him because it's weird oh, when, of course. when you watch interviews with some of these UFO people they always do this same thing and it's the same with like Alex Jones. Whenever they're chatting oh, shit, God. do this same weird thing that they they get like this weird shifty eye thing and they look at the person in the eye to see if they're believing what they're saying. Yeah. And that's like a mm -hmm. big sign of a liar. But I found that Bob Lazar's interviews, he's not like that. No, he's just very much like he's reeled it off so many times to people. Yeah. He's just kind of done. He's like, I don't care anymore, but yeah. this mm -hmm. is what happened. Yeah. But he's been like people have found out that he didn't attend where he said he was attending, and yeah. he's it's just a bit. It's almost too kind of perfect the fabrication he's come up with in yeah. my eyes. Mm -hmm. I know what you mean. It's hard because there are some things where he did say that you know he was an employee at this one place, and the government was like, no, no, he wasn't, or the company was like, no, he wasn't, and then he'd appear on like um what was it like an employee oh, like, a um, like contact list or something yeah. like that and so they're like okay well yeah he was an employee but you know he didn't do what he said he did no, so no. it's it's kind of hard because it's like well did he do what he said he did or did he not i don't no one will ever really know <laughs> except was, for him there was a lot of stuff that he, but, he came forward with that the information then turned out to be true like years and years later like he, he said, so the, the, the backstory of him is that he initially was taken on to work in a Area 51 in the future propulsion technology. He'd got the job after another scientist had died while working on some of the technology. Um, and during his, his work time at Area 51, he stated that you, you work in like a buddy system. So it's like you only work with two people. You only get one friend and that's it. And uh, <laughs> it sort of like stops anyone from knowing the whole picture of what you're working on. So it's like you're working on propulsion these two are working on a weapon for it. These two are working on outer housing. So you can never... So if one got flight. kidnapped, exactly. then they only know part of the story, yeah, or which they is a smart something. way of doing it. Exactly. And he, he was hired... Well, this is what he says. He was hired to back-engineer a craft, which he claims was too small for any human to operate. Um, right. Like, all the seats were really, really small, and you wouldn't... Only, like, a small child would be able to sit in there. And he said that this is... At one point, I thought he said that there were six crafts, but it turns out he says they were working on nine all in different points of disarray. So some had big holes in, some were like they were shot down, some were crashed and smashed in. 
and they were taking different parts from it. Oh yeah, and you um, said some of them were like kind of not quite prehistoric. What's the word I'm thinking of? Some of them were like relics. Yeah, like relics. They mm. were they were like an oh, okay. ancient thing that yeah. they've do- like excavated. Oh right. Um, but if you want any more of this information, Bob Lazar's website, boblazar.com. Sweet. Um, <laughs> that's a good thing to look at because. <laughs> When I went on to this, mm-hmm. I thought, oh, it's just going to be another, like, shitty little whatever. But he, he details a lot of information, a lot of diagrams, mm-hmm. um, like, images of how he believes the propulsion systems worked on the ships. Okay. So, yeah. But he said he worked on was it the sports model, which was, like, stainless steel. <laughs> he called it the sports model. Yeah, he but did. But like it was a material similar to stainless steel, but not quite. So, in touch and feel and, you know, how it seemed... Yeah, they said they weren't exactly sure what the metal was that the ship was made of. I mean, they were, they were doing test flights, weren't they? That, so this thing that they'd made was actually functioning, apparently. Um, and if you've seen anything about the ship called the Tic Tac in the news that people have cited and some pilots have seen it, this is presumably what it is they were working on. Oh, okay. Because of how it was flying. So this thing could fly with zero inertia. So it yeah. could fly a thousand mile an hour going forwards and then suddenly just go straight up in the air, 3,000 miles an hour, ascend to 3,000 feet in half a second, and the pilot would be fine. They wouldn't feel any inertia. They won't be smashed about like you would in a normal plane. Was it that it's... Yeah, because it works on zero gravity. The element 115, which he called uh, Muscovium. Yes. Which is actually... What's element 115 as we know it? Unpentium. Yes. Unpentium, So that's... Fun fact. That's also the uh, element that was used in Nazi zombies in Call of Duty. It was. It's it's made sort of um, (laughs) quite a big thing in a lot of games. I think in... What game was it now? It was Lara Croft. You were looking for it in Tomb Raider 3. Uh, And even in XCOM, it was the spaceship fuel, which I thought you would have... You would have known. Oh, no, I didn't. Yeah, no, I think, fuel. is it also in Singularity or am I being, I think I'm not I might sure. be being done there. I don't or know, maybe. mistaking it, but I think it's something to do with, that. that is a really good game, Singularity, by the way. Never definitely play, play it. Yeah, I'll check that one it's out. It's getting old now, but definitely worth yeah. a go. Um, he was, he was <laughs> let go from the project at some point. I can't remember why. It was something to do with his family, like some divorce was happening and he got a bit off the rails and they just sort of fired him. Um, I don't remember. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, no, it's okay. Don't worry. And he'd been to take some of his friends to watch the test flight because he had the sheets, obviously, with the timings on. Yeah. And they actually got caught mm-hmm. while watching these test flights. Did you hear about that, Leona? Yes. Yeah. And that he, like, let his friends get caught and then he bounced. <laughs> oh, really? I didn't know that bit. See ya. Bob, you yeah. bastard. <laughs> Bob, I hope you're listening. Yeah. Just so, yeah, I'm proud of you. He's definitely listening. That's something I do. Yeah. That's a stealth move, Bob. I like it. <laughs> and once he'd been sort of caught and got taken back to the labs for almost interrogation, even though they were his employees, there were his employers, sorry. Um, he ended up getting fired and then leaking some information, essentially to protect himself from anything happening. So if he died, people would know it was the exactly government. yeah yeah. Um, Which that doesn't work. Everyone, no, no one, everyone knows that doesn't work. But an attempt on his life was made. Really, he was shot at while he was driving home. Yeah. Um, so that was when he was sort of like, "Oh my god, leak the information!" Because a quote of what he said was that if he leaked the information, then that would mean if he did suddenly disappear, it would then look very suspicious to the government that yeah. this information had suddenly come to light, and sure. then nothing happened. So it made him look crazy. <laughs> so it was. <laughs> It was a good ploy. Yeah, that's yeah, that's actually really smart. It is. It's very clever. Um, he did. I bet he paid somebody to do it. No, I don't know. Do you think I'm maybe you never know? <laughs> to be fair, that is probably as accurate like a a statement as anything else we're talking yeah, about yeah, here. No. You could literally <laughs> say that he was a panda bear in a human outfit. Yep, and that would be just as right. <laughs> It'd be a weird, it'd be a slim panda bear. It would be a very slim panda bear. <laughs> yeah. On a panda bear. No, yeah. I want a panda bear. Damn it. Damn it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> It's, it's like we were saying, like when we got into this section, um, it's weird the information that you put forward then came out to be true. Like there was a part of it where he was saying that in order to get into the, the building, which is actually the S4 lab where he worked, which I found out, but that's the one that I sent you the map for. Yes. So I'm going to be posting all this on the Patreon with all the information. So you'll have maps to the actual lab. So if you want to know where to go, sign up for the <laughs> Patreon. <laughs> um, <laughs> Uh, yeah, so he said he scanned his hand when to go in. And this hand scanner wasn't like a normal scan your fingerprint or anything. It was oh, yeah. scanning the bones in your fingers. Oh, okay. Because the bones in your yeah, fingers Yeah, I did like the density. Change. Exactly, the density, the length down to the... I don't know if it was to the micron, but it was, it was a very small measurement. Uh, and these are individual to each person. And then 
everyone laughed at him, slated him like, oh, this future technology doesn't exist. And it turns out, yeah, it does. There's photographs of that now. You oh, can wow. actually go and see that. And it's the same with Element 115. Like, he stated that these ships that they were working on were powered by three gravity amplifiers. So one was being used as like a launching tool which would lift the craft while the two others would generate a gravity distortion um, that the craft would almost fall into. You know, like you've got a dip in space time that makes planets orbit in a circle. So the craft is always falling forward as opposed to flying in a straight line. So that stops the inertia because the things that are in the bubble don't feel any kind of gravitational shift. Okay. So time is different in there as well. And that's why it can fly at such extreme speeds. Didn't they say it was first synthesized in 2003 element 115 see that's the funny thing yeah he came out about this in the 80s saying about element 115 that it had these properties and then guys in russia synthesized it and it it turns out it was real and the strange thing about it is that it's an incredibly unstable no it's incredibly stable oh i thought the thing the one that they made was unstable and that was why it's strange because you can't get that kind of element on this planet it has to be made other places where stars are exploding because that's how all elements are made in the hearts of dying stars yeah so like a little cool fact for you here guys if you don't know all the iron in your blood and your body (laughs) is made in the heart of a star like that is fucking cool so we're all made of stars so big up on that shit joe rogan um Can I give a little bit of information about Element 115, though? Yeah, go, go. It's debunking. Oh, Sorry. Okay. Uh, uh. So um, <laughs> I don't know if you read that article that I sent you from otherhand.org. Um, oh, no, I didn't. This... I forgot. I'm sorry. I was oh, oh, fine. <laughs> I've okay, got an excuse. Where's your homework, Harrison? <laughs> oh, it's not a cholera grave. Yeah, I lost it in a cholera grave. <laughs> oh, no. Well, this guy says, and I'm just going to read it because I will botch it if I don't. He yeah, says no. that there is an, a 1969 article from this uh, magazine, Scientific American, with, a, he says, a cool 3D graph showing an island of stability around um, element 114. Yeah. And it was also repeated in this guy's undergrad physics textbook. But what's most interesting is that there was an article called Creating Super Heavy Elements by Arm Brewster and Musenberg, um, mm-hmm. published in Scientific American, again talking about a potential island about um, around uh, the stability. Uh, excuse me, um, 114, and um, the stability around 114. And the article's date was May 1989, which was the same month that Bob Lazar began his interviews talking about Element ah, 115. Wow. So you think he might have so, read that and then just started talking? He might have seen that and been like, "Oh, um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. That. Maybe I don't know." This guy yeah. is this guy that I'm reading for the, the other hand. He's uh, he's a believer in aliens, but he thinks that Bob Lazar is a quack. Oh, so, okay. And that That's he did he everything that he did was just basically as like a way to keep himself out of jail for spilling secrets. So well, he might and making done. up stories about aliens to or UFO crafts for just keeping himself out of jail. Yeah, just to create I'm a not really hype sure. to, yeah, to get <laughs> yeah, him <home>. hype. <laughs> that, that's, it's interesting. That is really interesting. It's it's a weird thing. This I, I did read about, and it was another article about this island of stability. It happens mm-hmm. between, I think it was elements 113 to 16, and then up again in like 200 to 210 or something, which is that's way too heavy for us to create. Oh. And, and the reason that it's so stable is because it creates, I can't remember what you'd call it, it's like a geometrically stable shape between the neutrons, the atom, and the protons that are around it. So it doesn't give off radiation. So it doesn't like, Okay. it can't affect you in any way. And the weird thing oh, about cool. the, the craft that they were talking about is that they are 100% efficient running on this element. So it gives off no heat. So there's no, there's literally nothing. There's no exhaust. But the strange thing is, if you know anything about um, thermodynamics, that literally breaks the lo- the first law of thermodynamics. Yeah. You have to have waste. Yeah. And that's why it's so strange, whatever this element is. Yeah. And I know that's why the pilots always freaked out when they saw the Tic Tac, because they're like, we yeah. couldn't even pick it up. Um, we couldn't see any heat signatures on it, like when it would accelerate away. That's the weird thing. Yes. But I mean, they've caught this happening. So whatever that is, is a real thing. Whether or mm-hmm. not it's this craft that Bob Lazar is working on or not, it's still strange, whatever it is. I know that he, Bob said he was unsure if the element was given to them or if it was taken from something whether it was dug up in the relics like what jordan Mm. said or if it was shot down out of a random craft that they found but he stated that the government only has 500 pounds of the element the interviewer on one of the ones that i watched i don't know if i sent you this one liana the guy at the Mm. end said and you were able to get away with some how much did you take and then bob was Uh. no comment and then the interview just cut off oh and i was like oh oh yeah like 
deadly seriousness, he went no comment, like really quick. But he actually runs some kind of... Was his of house raided right after that? <laughs> pretty, pretty quickly after that. Yeah, it was, I believe. And he, he runs a company to do with nuclear physics now. He does, yeah. Right, I can't yeah. what it's called. But if he's okay. got a piece and he's working around that, he might be manufacturing stuff to do with it. And that maybe that's what this ship is. Maybe that's why the government don't know what it is. The pilots don't know what it is. Maybe Bob Lazar is just handing this, selling out this 115 to other people. Well, yeah, it's called United Nuclear. That's the one. Thank you very much, Jordan. said that in such a weird way. No. Nuclear. <laughs> United Nuclear. Yeah. yeah. Nuclear. Oh, fucking nuclear. Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> My brain's still not working. Yeah, Apologies. Okay. Don't worry. Hung over um, brain. <laughs> yeah. It's um, forgiven. It's definitely Thank you. forgiven. I don't, I don't forgive him. <laughs> How dare oh, you? Um, I'm going to hold this grudge. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think of anything else that I saw about the Tic Tac, because I, I did find that very interesting. So I watched through a couple of the videos of the pilots not knowing what it was. And from what they seem to do is they fly really odd. Um, that Bob Lazar film, I think might have spoken about it, Liana. You know, when it said that they, they tilted up, was that guy showing him a maneuver that it was doing or something? Oh, yeah. So he was saying that it, it would like rise up and then it would it would almost like it wouldn't fly like you would imagine a normal saucer to. Mm-hmm. I don't really know how to describe it, but you wouldn't imagine it to fly the way that. Oh my god, I'm st- I'm fumbling. It's too <laughs> early. Okay, so it would lift up and almost fly like belly first. Yes, it was like imagine if a car like is driving on its wheels and then it <laughs> flips up onto its back and flies with all of its wheels facing forward. Oh, so it's like stood up <laughs> on it's stood its up, side, like the ships from Arrival. That can, yeah, yeah, like that, like the big shell things, oh but flies gosh. forward at like, but doesn't have any drag. Like, how could it have no drag? It, it, if it's flying like on that video when it flips up. The air would slow it down, but well, it doesn't. Mm-hmm. Well, maybe with it being using anti gravity, mm-hmm. is it possible that, that distorts the air pressure? Uh, so if that yeah. forces the air around, around the ship, it. opposed to into the ship, mm-hmm. so that could possibly do that. It'd bend everything around it. Well, exactly. So if then it went to collide with something, that's also something I'm not sure of. If the anti gravity field drops Mm -hmm. and then it hits the ground obviously that causes damage but what happens if it tries to hit something with the bubble yeah would it just go through it could gravity bend through it i don't know if it had been through it because you've then got to think how dense is the object it's hitting and can it distort i'm I'm glad you've said that because i did read a little bit about it and it said that the strange nature of the movement according to bob lazar is caused by the differences in gravity around the earth's crust and um, the minerals in this earth and, and the mantle around it. Okay. So it's all magnets. <laughs> <laughs> magnets. <laughs> magnets. <laughs> magnets. Yeah. So <laughs> that was all I could find about it. But I get what you're saying. Like, if it was a big enough gravity field, if it was coming towards the ground, would the ground just bend underneath it? Well, yeah, that's I guess. Thing. But that's the thing. If they're saying these things have crashed, yeah. or if bullets or something have been fired at it, would it just go around? Yeah. That's. It's, it's mind boggling. I know. It's just. Because obviously we don't know. This is all speculation. Mm-hmm. But I'm definitely right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, it's just such a strange thing that we just have no concept of. No, it's weird. Uh, did you have any other little points you want to go over, Liana? Not really. No, I'm, Bob Lazar is... I'm just not really sure about him yet. No. I'm not, not convinced in one way or the other. I want to be convinced, but it's hard. He seems so convincing. Yeah. I want to believe. I want to believe. Like, <laughs> Let me believe. <laughs> Let me believe. <laughs> yeah, it's he's like the the most convincing, not crazy, crazy person. Yeah, do you know what I mean? It's like it doesn't really make sense with all those things in one place. He's like a weird Venn diagram. Yeah, <laughs> you fucking, Venn diagrams are coming up all over my life recently. Really? No way. Yeah, I'm not gonna get into it, but yeah. just Venn diagrams, man. <laughs> Shit, I love those things. <laughs> But yeah, it's uh, he's definitely a character. He is. But how could you just be done with that? How could you just be like, yeah, I'm not interested anymore? Yeah. What do you mean you're not interested? No, you'd always be interested. What the oh, fuck is I'm not interested anymore? Yeah. How? I don't know. I mean, there's another guy. Maybe he just that... says that so people stop raiding his house. Maybe. Yeah. yeah that like could be FBI right. and CIA, I mean. Yeah. yeah, you would get sick of it. Yeah. It's like, God damn it, Clarence. It's, it's the same <laughs> FBI agent every time. Yeah. Like, morning, Bob. <laughs> morning, Bob. And he's like, ugh. My breakfast is gonna go cold again. <laughs> it's like, sorry, <laughs> sorry. How's how's the wife and kids? Yeah, you know, you know, she doesn't love me anymore. <laughs> <laughs> you know, she left me for this. Yeah. Imagine it's like it really. It's not like a kick through the door anymore. It's like a timid knock. Yeah, Bob, we're here again. Not fucking now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on the toilet. <laughs> Just let yourself in. <laughs> Keys under the mat. 
<laughs> when it's his birthday, there's yeah. just a little card on the side. It's like, yeah. happy birthday, John. Happy birthday, John. Bar- <laughs> and he's like, oh, he remembered. Oh, thanks, man. Yeah, every time brings a little gift. Yeah. Oh, yeah. no. And the next time it's not him. And he's like, oh, he's off on holiday this week. He's like, oh, where's he gone? <laughs> oh, I think we're nice this time. Yeah. <laughs> um, I need I this. Know, I want it. Yeah. Can we make a little TV we'll show? We'll do it. We'll make a little drama out of it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I will pay extra in Patreon to watch that. Yes, let's do it. We'll make it's, it. Neither <laughs> of us look like Bob Lazar, though. Know, yeah. Real bad wigs and like massive glasses. <laughs> yeah, please. A spaceship made Just of foil. Just call him the, the Bobby Chronicles. Bobby. Bobby Z. Yes. Bobby Z. Yeah. Yeah. From what else I could find, I want to make a slight little detour. This mm-hmm. guy's still to do with um, Bob Lazar because he actually did work with him. And it was in the, in the cycle S4, which we found is the real place. That's where all the propulsion stuff and apparently the aliens are housed. So if you guys are going into Area 51, <laughs> look for S4. That's where you want to go. Yeah. And Bob Lazar always seems to said that the aliens housed in S4, because apparently oh, there right. are some that are alive in there, labelled us as containers. Us. Yes. They didn't call us humans. They called us containers. We can fucking... That's, Which is weird. Like, how dare you? Like, I know. That, that straight away is weird. Who the fuck fucking. you think you're so talking? So it's like invasion of the body of snatchers? Yeah, like we're Tupperware boxes with anxiety. Like... <laughs> I am Aww. literally a Tupperware box filled with anxiety. Yeah, that is my life. <laughs> and that's what the aliens want. They want to yeah. feel something. <laughs> that's, that's, imagine that, saying that to like some Cockney bloke. Yeah. Like, who the fuck you think you're talking to? I ain't a container. I'll come in there. <laughs> yeah, I'll come there. I'm going to make a statement now that may make you shooketh, okay? Oh, Ali- boy. Aliens aren't aliens. They're altered humans from the future. Is that the thing? Well, that makes raise? me uncomfortable. I know, exactly, right? Is that a thing with greys, like, they are said to... So if humans went underground, mm-hmm. we'd shrivel and we'd our skin would go grey from lack of sunlight and our eyes would go massive and black because we can't take Tipping any the light. light. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, shooketh um, indeed. Shooketh indeed. I am shooketh to my socks, which is purple <laughs> today. <laughs> um, or does oh, that mean that we get to no, all turn into Nords? Because I'd like to be taller you want to be and have a... naturally blonde hair. <laughs> yeah, blonde hair, blue eyes. What was it? The Scars Guardians or whatever you guys were called. Yeah. Well, no, that's that, the Nords. That's one of the like seven or eight classes of aliens that they say exist. Yeah, there's, there are a few different races. And this guy does talk about them. So the guy that I researched was it, a man called Dan Burish. I don't know okay. if you heard of him. Did his name pop up at all? Yep. Yeah. Not for mm-hmm. me. So I'll fill you in, Jordan. He's a micro... <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow, uh, man. Um, he's a microbiologist who claims to have been abducted by an alien as a child. Okay? After he studied a PhD... Oh, sorry, he studied up to a PhD level into what I think was exobiology, which is the study of how life may form on other planets. Um, I know that he was particularly interested in Mars, so seeing whether the life could live in the sand or if it's inside the rocks that we found, because we did find meteorites with amino acids inside. Um, sorry if you heard a little badoop there. That was from Discord. <laughs> um, <laughs> he, he actually, when he left... Uh, university he actually submitted a proposal to nasa um and i actually have the title and it transcribed here on the transplantation of protozoa and the exploitation of martian exobiology the case for eugelina viridius in the automated biological laboratory and the cool thing about it was that nasa actually replied um and i do again i managed to get hold of the letter that nasa sent back (laughs) oh nice yeah i've been doing some serious digging (laughs) jesus um it says (laughs) Your project has been found to contain a sufficient intrinsic merit as to the enable hang on, sorry, as to enable integration into NSCORT Bioregenerative Life Support Division, a sub directive of the Controlled and Ecological Life Support Systems, which is abbreviated to CELS, uh, program of the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, which is NASA, as yeah. the, the full title. Um now that is gonna come up in a moment and make weirdly a lot of sense about the okay. regenerative health studies um <laughs> okay yeah I, this sounds crazy i know like i'm fully filled <laughs> up right now he was eventually assigned to be the working group leader in project aquarius in the papoose site four on the nevada test site so he did work in s4 okay mm-hmm. which was the same location as bob lazar only briefly when lazar was there but they did ass- he got assigned to be the lead leader of the position sometime around 1994 i think it said uh, and he worked in the underground biological lab that had been installed on level four underground. And uh, this is like where his statements start getting interesting. It like okay. goes from normal to like, oh my God, aliens <laughs> and stars, you know, that kind of yeah. thing. Um, he said that aliens were adapted to our atmosphere from their future timeline. As it said, they aren't actually aliens, but more like future humans and they can't survive long here. 
because of how different the atmosphere is in their timeline than ours. Okay. Um, and he said, I that wonder was, if it's better or worse. I don't know. I presume. I want to say it would be better. You'd hope. Yeah, <laughs> but I don't know. Well, if it yeah, if it was better in the future, and they've come back and mm-hmm. they've back to the future, adapt. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> and Morning. they they <laughs> they've adapted to the point where they can't filter out the harsh toxins mm-hmm. in the atmosphere anymore. Yeah which we're surprisingly good at. Yeah. Not, I'm asthmatic, so I'm not <laughs> that good. My lungs just fucking give up. Yeah, yeah. You are um, vaping a big dank cloud in the corner. Yeah. I used to smoke. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No I, no, I don't. It's fine. Mostly fine. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it's... But I... Yeah, I guess if it was worse, maybe... I can't see how it, it being worse, they wouldn't be able to come back to better. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, maybe. Maybe it's worse. Um, and he, he said that there's this big conference that they all go to called the T9 conference. And it was to sign treaties with the other races of aliens. And this is where like, Leanna, your thing with the Nords comes in. Cause apparently oh, yeah, the yeah. Nords were there. The P45 reptilians who aren't actually reptiles <laughs> were there. I know exactly. I have thoughts. I have thoughts on the reptilians. Give me some okay. thoughts. Go on, go on, break it down for me. No, I just think they are so stupid. I think it is the dumbest thing. It is. Was it an orange Sorry. man with a toupee? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wearing an American suit. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I don't identify with that man. No, Ugh. not at all. He uh, is a douche wagon. No, no. I mean, mm. the, the other aliens Agreed. are the, the weirder of what I could see. So it's the ones that were kind of the greys. They were said the negotiators moved around on Segway style containment systems. <laughs> so they're like... <laughs> Exactly. Getting about <laughs> little horns. Like, <laughs> meh, 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 meh. Yeah. So, Move like dick. A, so they're what? like in a like a bubble thing or what? Yeah, Just, it was like, I need a, I need a um, I need a good visual like here. A water uh, tank stood up on wheels. <laughs> no. Yeah, to like give them their own no. atmosphere while they were there before That's they were adapted. So amazing. I know. And their their timeline is called the P plus five thousand two hundred timeline. So all of these are part of a different timeline. These aren't like they've come from a different planet. These are literally different, like, multiverse it's, varieties it's, of humans. I can't seem to get to the bottom of whether it's a multiverse or whether it's different split-offs of evolution on the same planet, all from different points in time. Oh. Yeah? So, That's awful. Because if you have heavy enough elements to bend gravity, you can bend time. Yeah. Because gravity is space-time, space-time is everything, so you could you could do that. So I don't know if that's what it is. And there was something about a book that they called it the yellow book. If you want to look up the yellow book, you'll be able to find it. I didn't have enough time to look up that. Okay. But apparently it's like a window. Write that down. <laughs> yeah. Make notes. Um, that there will can... be a test. Yeah. There will be a test at the end of this. <laughs> it won't be multi questions. <laughs> um, yeah. It's like a window to look through, to look back in time or forward in time, wherever you want. Right. It's a weird device. And I want to hear more about it. So that's, I think I might go into that later. Is that like in Arrival where the language is? Yeah. Spoilers. More... Yeah, yeah, it's just yeah. Just <laughs> that film's been out forever. I know, but it's a great film. Was, the twist was like ninety so four or something or no, earlier. No, not that one. Not the Charlie Sheen one. Oh, I was like, <laughs> uh, that's weird. Have you yeah. not seen Arrival, the new one? No. Oh God. Yeah, my bad. Wait, I don't Forget know which one. Forget what I just said. Forget no, what no, I just I said. The one. With, no, uh, no, no, no. Is it Amy? A- Tell Amy me. Adams? The one with the aliens that look like squids. Oh, oh, oh my God. I was thinking of like the arrival. I was no, like, just why? the arrival. Why are we talking about that movie? <laughs> the one with the weird like heptapod squid guys. I like that movie. Squid it's Man's a great movie. Squid cool. Men's. It was yeah. one of the only films that in the cinema. I've literally at the end just gone, oh my God, that was great. At the end, like the twist. <laughs> I didn't think it was that great. It was I all really right. I enjoyed it. I, I guess I just maybe just didn't put that much attention into it. Yeah, that anything with right, like, time stuff blows my mind i love that kind of shit <laughs> blow me blow mind me. sorry mind, <laughs> my mind. <laughs> <laughs> i've been blown thoroughly S- sat in the cinema going blow me <laughs> <laughs> blow me away <laughs> oh. oh god excuse Maybe. me matron uh, uh, is this is this film going to blow me is this, excuse me <laughs> More popcorn, please. i'm being blown <laughs> Oh, we've sidetracked so much. Sorry, listeners. Sorry. <laughs> I'm My never bad. sorry for that. Oh, no, no way. I love it. I love sidetracking. It's great. So, so wait, I need to go back for a second. Do it. What did they describe the Segway creatures to look like? Because all I can imagine is Krang from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I can't think of anything else. Uh, it's pretty <laughs> much that, but longer. I thought they were no. greys, you said. Grey like. They were like, yeah, it was that. It was like a grey alien. 
inside this tank. Oh, that stood up. okay. Yeah. Oh, so like okay. the little like. Do you remember the baby alien things you got? The sticky things that came in the jar. Yeah, in the egg. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. Oh, did you ever I have those? Those guys. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. It's weird that these this kind of shit just goes all over the world. I know. That's Maybe so weird. it was like you know when Paul's saying his image has been drip fed to humans, so when they see a real alien, they don't have a spaz attack. Yeah, Maybe I think it's that like that. Today. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> now I you know how to movie. make them. You put them back to back, and they have an additional baby. Yes, right, Leanna. Was that a rumor in America as well? What that they could have? I couldn't babies. hear that part. Sorry. So if you put oh. two of the aliens back to back in one of the jelly capsule things, yeah, they had babies. Yeah, that was a rumor, and my dumbass believed that shit for so long. Yeah. But obviously, I was below the age of ten or twelve or whatever. <laughs> um, I remember hearing that, but I only ever had one uh, of them, oh, and so then I think I probably create. moved on to other random toys like Gak and oh, yeah. other things. That's a Gak. <laughs> it's like silly potty. Oh, Gak. Yeah, it's like. Is it like fart potty? That's what we used to have. Yeah, it was like it's from the TV show, the channel Nickelodeon. Yeah, you guys have oh, Nickelodeon. Yeah, okay. yeah. And oh, it was like this gross. thing that was shaped like kind of like an amoeba, and then you could just like squish the silly putty crud that smelled really funny into yeah. the different corners of the amoeba, and it would make fart sounds. Yeah, that's and right. yeah, we are. as a kid, yeah. it was the <laughs> yeah. best. I love that shit. Ours Particularly on long car rides. Toilets. So. Yeah, it came in a toilet-shaped <laughs> container. Ours. Yeah, obviously America <laughs> one step ahead of us for yeah, being a little more science there, yeah. science advanced than <laughs> English people are just like toilets, dicks. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so, so yeah, that was basically what they were. They were just like those little aliens in tanks yeah. with wheels on. If you get a chance, have a look for XCOM Two mm -hmm. um, sectoids. Okay. So in You're all the... about XCOM, yeah, man, of episodes. love XCOM, but it's <laughs> they're really weird because in the game. Yeah. So this is again an offshoot of just random shit. So you fight Greys in the first one. But they actually combine human and grey DNA in the second one and create sectoids okay. um, or human variants of sectoids. Mm -hmm. So they're like like human-esque, naked. They don't have genitals, which is a plus. Um, <laughs> but they're like, they have human teeth and everything like that. So if I can Ew. find a picture. It sounds like Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh, that's no. really creepy. I'm looking at it now. I don't remember this from when I played XCOM, but yeah. oh God. Yeah, they're really, Ew. really find strange. A naked one? <laughs> so, oh God. <laughs> Oh my lord! There you go, swinging has... alien balls. Oh yeah, that's yeah, pretty grim. They that's are nice. strange, but like they're surprisingly easy enough to kill. But mm. yeah, it's like they've got the red in their chest, and their eyes are really. It's like ET crossed with one of the aliens from Signs. Yeah, but way more mm. sexual. Yeah, Not way more. That. Way more. <laughs> hey. <laughs> yeah, it's su such a weird. Like, yeah, if we can, if we do a video part, <laughs> we'll see if we can get a picture of. Yeah. If you can't, just. Yeah, XCOM 2 sectoids. Okay, we'll, we'll check them that out. That actually, the sectoid makes me think of, oh God, what was it? The fourth alien film that we don't like to talk about. Oh, as yes, Resurrection. Resurrection. All oh, right, I'm not going to shout out for not seeing that the one. The stupid ass <laughs> creature that they create at the very end where it's like, oh. It's a human alien. It's got teeth movie. and like a human nose and then, ugh. Yeah, it's really gross. Ugh, I hate that movie. It's really <laughs> slimy as well. It's so like juicy. <laughs> oh, it's so slimy. When it walks, it just goes Why like, was it so slimy? <laughs> It's like it's still in pudding <laughs> in every step. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I remember once there's a this is like a massive again side journey. Liana, there's a place over here called Blackpool. You know Blackpool, don't okay. you? Jordan? It's a shit. I've heard it's, of it. It's, it's so like, grim. It's like if you put Las Vegas in the rain and made it really <laughs> shit. So get the coolness of Las Vegas. Yeah. Divide okay. it by. N so it's like minor. It's like five percent of that mixed with Detroit. Less. Yeah, and then you could probably get chlamydia from fish and chips. Yeah, it's not as bad. Yeah, maybe. And there appears, and when you're walking places, you're not sure if you're going to get stabbed or fall through the floor. Yeah. Or it's just fucking terrible. And the reason it's called Blackpool is because the sea is, well, it's, it's brown. It's like really dark. <laughs> yeah, it's oh real God. grim. And we used to swim in there when we were kids. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, and it's like no. a really shitty fairground and what i was going to say was because i said walking in pudding me and will who was on episode like six or whatever we went there when we were kids and every step i stood in a donut every step in it, it oh like the glaze like, like the, the, not even glaze like the, sh the sugary sugary donut yeah oh, it was so like horrible like someone was oh. every step it was like someone was flinging them under my foot and it was like <laughs> And literally everywhere. I was covered in donut by the end of the day. What was that note that <laughs> every time? <laughs> and like, I got back in the car, my shoes were covered in, and I was walking like one of those aliens, just really fucking sloppy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
so, that was the side so joke awful. I wanted to call. Yeah, sorry. I'll stop making those noises now. The worst thing was, oh. I ended up buying some donuts because it made me want donuts. <laughs> you ever left? I've left some of those donuts from like a fair. Do you know the train station around yeah, here yeah. has like mm-hmm. a fair every now and again, yeah. which is clearly not safe or legal. No, but, you know, no. whatever. You're not yeah. going to say no to like 50 travelers. No, no. Setting up fucking dodgy machinery. <laughs> I must have bought some and when I was a kid, and I must have left them in my coat. Yeah. Two weeks lo- later, <laughs> I, I went and put my hand in the pocket to find something. <laughs> and it was just like, because it was in a greaseproof bag. So and it, it just had just dis- oh! No, it had disintegrated the bag. Oh, no. It was greaseproof. And it was not greaseproof enough no. for that. <laughs> it was Ew, awful. God. Yeah. <laughs> it's like putting your hand right in an alien egg. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. One jumps get it out off, and wraps it off, your face. <laughs> said uh, help <laughs> help me <laughs> i imagine like you getting pulled into it and like <laughs> just your feet getting pulled down into the bag <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. God. oh my god this is my life jesus christ <laughs> every choice i've made in my life has led up to this yes, moment yeah. where did i go wrong no idea mate it was those donuts for sure <laughs> um, definitely the donuts in the pocket oh, yeah show <laughs> right should we crawl ourselves back to area 51 oh Okay. I suppose. We should, you know. <laughs> so, while working in the S4 labs, Dan Burish allegedly, 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 allegedly <laughs> met and worked with an alien named Kayela, who was, the species is called a J-Rod. Oh, Why yes. you point at me? Because you're the J-Rod. <laughs> <laughs> That's my porn name. <laughs> <laughs> hey, they call me J-Rod. Um... And apparently this alien showed Dan images from his point of view of Dan being abducted while he was a child. So wow. I don't know if it was like some like Star oh. Trek mind meld or some weird shit like that. Shook my hand at Jordan there. So yeah. mind melding. Um, he described him as a telepathic translator. Yes. That's what I was going to say. Yeah. So you heard Oh, my well. bad. Sorry. No, no. I'm, I'm, glad, I'm glad you've chimed in because I want to know your point Turns of view. Turns out Leanna is as well. Sweet. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Tell me. What did you find? I'm sorry, I was drinking coffee. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay. just that he was, uh, Dan had claimed to work on cloning alien viruses at Area 51 yes. Yes. with J-Rod. So I was... With the J-Rod. It I don't like know why name. they would want yeah. to clone these viruses. I don't know. They didn't really explain that. No. See, and that's I don't thing. like that idea. If you, guys are trying, as if you guys are trying to break into Area 51, this is another thing you're up against. It's going to be fucking I'm alien not viruses. breaking in. Oh, you're saying to the listeners. Yes, I was like, listeners. I'm not going. Are, you are going. You need to show us what you find. No, I'm going to stay at the diner and eat French fries oh, or great. chips. <laughs> chips. <laughs> Excuse yeah, me. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, we still call them French fries. Um, Thank God. It, that's okay. The, that's when they're thin. It's when <laughs> yeah. they're a jerk. <laughs> if you have steak and chips, that tends to be thicker. Yeah, and like wedges almost. Uh, potatoes they use for that. Is it russet p- potatoes? No idea. I think. Sorry. Also, <laughs> forgive me if <laughs> you hear my tummy gurgling. It's just hungry, so I'm oh, sorry. I'm sorry. Is later. it breakfast time? Isn't it? <laughs> no, no, no. It's fine. Apologies. It's okay, I'll try and like enhance in the cut audio. Like, no, it cut it out. <laughs> <laughs> There's aliens. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, it's J Rod. J Rod's back. <laughs> <laughs> it's that cloning that alien virus. It it's in my uh, tummy. It's, that's, uh, I don't know what they were making. Like, where did the virus come from? Was it cloned from him? Or like, I know that I read that J Rod apparently has some kind of neuropathy, and that was, you know, what I was saying before um, that part about bioregenerative life support. Division. Yeah. It's like mm-hmm. they were trying to help the aliens that have had some disease down the line. Maybe. Like something mm. like the plague. Something that's us. like it's evolved into them that affects them badly, but because the gene isn't expressed yet in us, because we're the early ones, it oh. doesn't happen to us. So maybe if they did like um what's it called? When you have I completely forgot what it's called. It's where they replace your blood. Dialysis. Uh, yeah, or a transfusion. Oh, yeah. okay. Mm-hmm. So if if they ran your blood through a cleaning machine, yeah. uh, if we replaced their entire blood with something that matched, yeah. then we may be able to literally just throw that old blood away and yeah. they've got new blood. Just and that blood away. So yeah, fuck it, get away. <laughs> you don't need that. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, um, I know that's not how that works. By the way, don't at me. No, no, I know that's me, not how that works. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, just a suggestion. Away. I'm sorry. I'm not a science man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's it, that's that's what I find weird. That it kind of makes sense that he's gone into this area yeah. of the base, and that it said he said that when he was abducted, another boy that was abducted died during the process on the craft, and this kid's energy was transported into him, and they described him as a vessel. 
Okay. So I remember it before. Oh, I didn't but read that. That's creepy. Bob Lazar said that they call this containers, and now he's saying they call us vessels. And it's weird that this thing about aliens calling us. Another instance I heard was called beakers. So they've got beakers, vessels, containers. <laughs> meep, meep, meep. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so it seems like they're if they are coming back back to the future Marty, then you know it's, it's like they're harvesting genetic material from us which are the vessels to then repair their own race in the future Aww. you know what i mean it's weird man oh so, we could so that's be, why they yeah. abduct people yeah so it's like we're cattle stupid sexy Scary, cattle sexy cattle <laughs> we're not cattle we are men <laughs> you know like that fucking Charlie Chaplin <laughs> sexy Chaplin Chaplin men you're sexy cattle <laughs> yeah so I, uh, that creeps me out more that they call us that and then it's like they're growing us for something yeah so be careful you guys I'm you gonna, might get taken I'm gonna take up smoking and drinking more yeah you don't fuck you I being used yeah maybe that's why like, <laughs> we never get abducted because we're not healthy enough oh is it like that guy that the episode we did, the um, UK abductions. Oh, yeah. So he showed up covered in like some viscous liquid. Yeah, it's juicy. So it could be that <laughs> they perform some kind of operation to take his like fucking essence or take whatever that juice. shit is. Yeah. Take his juice. Take his body juice. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta lube him up quick. <laughs> He's getting yeah. out again. Yeah, or kept yeah. him in a container or something for a week so yeah, they maybe. could harvest what they needed. Maybe they to. put him in a Segway container. Yeah, that could be it. <laughs> he doesn't fucking fit. Oh shit, he's too tall. <laughs> put him, just <laughs> fucking put him on the airlock. <laughs> just let him out. <laughs> yeah. That actually goes along with the Carl Higdon episode that Erica and I did um, where he was abducted and then he was taken away mm -hmm. to another planet, supposedly, and then they brought him back because they're like, you don't quite fit what we need. Oh, really? I, I listened yes. to your episodes and I don't remember that. Well, they brought him back because they discovered that he had had a vasectomy and he wasn't going to work for their breeding program. Oh, I did hear. Sorry, I do remember that. Yeah, because you were saying why, how did they not know that he... Yeah. Yeah. We were like, him back, you did a full like... body scan to figure out that he was hungry, but couldn't figure out that he had a vasectomy. Did you not check uh, his dick, Dave? Dave, check the dick. <laughs> Does his dick work? Does his dick work, though? You know? Does it work, though? No. Yeah, uh, well, his dick works, just his balls, they don't. Yeah, just take him back, <laughs> get me a fresh one. It's like when you go to Tesco and pick the wrong milk up. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I've got the one from the 17th. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. And you've got to go back. <laughs> got the semi skimmed. I needed whole milk. Oh. <laughs> oh. Uh, he drinks whole milk. You don't like whole milk? Well, it's just a bit too gloobie. I like it. I'm bringing the word. Bring the word gloobie. Yeah. I like it. I it's like a bit it. Too <laughs> semi skimmed. Semi skimmed, not gloob. No, no gloob. 50% gloob. Chatting absolute uh, fucking bollocks. Uh, then, <laughs> the last the last person that I found out about, I don't know if any of you guys read about this guy. I couldn't find his first name, but labeled this guy the last name Frost. Now this guy mm, no. was I don't know how long he'd worked there, but it's a guy who sued the US government for becoming fatally ill after being ex exposed to toxic fumes at the base. The case was Oh, was he out. one of the guys that was cleaning up? I think he was I supposed to be maybe, in charge of yeah. cleaning. That might be a stuff. Name. Yeah, and it, they didn't tell him that what he was cleaning was radioactive. Oh, is it radioactive? Is that's that what it was? Move. I think that's that might have been it. They were they were in charge of cleaning. St oh, no, I, I don't. You know what? I'm not putting out just in uh, case fake news. So I'll just fake news. <laughs> You're fake news, Liana. <laughs> <laughs> oh. But I think that's what it was. I think he was he and a couple of other people were helping uh, clean up some radioactive stuff but they weren't told that it was radioactive oh shit which is not cool man no i didn't know that mm -hmm. oh we don't have any hold music <laughs> <laughs> oh shit you i expect singing <laughs> everybody hurts <laughs> <laughs> okay okay we're back a and we're back ding? Welcome Thank back. Thank you for waiting. To grief burrito. Uh. <laughs> That's my EA radio <laughs> voice. Yes, maybe maybe he was one of the cleaners then, because it was it, it was a few people that were going to court about it. Um, mm -hmm. And it was actually dismissed by the courts because the government refused to acknowledge that Area 51 existed. Oh, so, so this is before got 2013. Further. Yeah, and the guy actually died. Um and the weird thing was they, they took a biopsy from his body and I think from a few of the others who died as well and they couldn't identify the elements that he'd been exposed to. Oh. Now that's weird. Alien jizz. Alien mm. jubes. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, so it could have been more of these heavy elements that we're talking about, but that were more unstable, that were giving off radiation. Yeah. Um, so maybe it was the elements 16, 17, whatever else they were going to afterwards. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, I mean, nuclear test site area three, like I said before, wasn't even cleaned out till nine years later. So God knows what kind of stuff was lying about. Yeah. Well, it's crazy to think there's like literally some other country could have just come over mm-hmm. and gone to that site and picked up some stuff. Exactly. Yeah. They could have been years ahead. Yeah. I can give you some information on it. So it was actually five civilian contractors and it was Robert Frost. Robert and Frost. they were present when large quantities of unknown chemicals had been burned in open pits and trenches. Um, yes. And you so... can actually see that on the aerial footage. Really? You can see like what I thought was a quarry. So I presume they're digging, burning, and then burying. They did actually, there was a mine. Um, it was called Groom Mine that was on the property that was owned by a completely separate family that I know that they did, that they had to buy. It's kind of unrelated, but I know that there was, the there's really? quarries and mines. There's all kinds of stuff on that property that just, they kind of, the government just kind of took over. I mean, I think they did buy it from the family eventually, but... Oh, um, so they weird. did for a while allow, I think it was the Schaefer family. They, they owned the mine for a really long time and they allowed people, they allowed them to actually go to the mine was for that years. Was Schaefer Mines before that? When, pardon? Was that called the Schaefer Mines before that? Yes. Yes. Cause I've heard yes. about that. I have heard about that place. Mm-hmm. It, it's very much like in the, the Godzilla film when they were just burying the nuclear stuff underground yeah. in some random mine. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and they didn't want the family to go there because of the nuclear testing. Right. They were like, "Oh, we don't really want you to go, yeah, don't <laughs> but go, you can still go, but yeah. you shouldn't." <laughs> so. Yeah, wear a hazmat suit. <laughs> yeah. Oh god, that's <laughs> fucking weird. Yeah, and so that's like all the information that I've got. On yeah, fifty-one. It was, it was quite a lot of digging, and we've got quite a lot of interesting stuff there. Yeah. So I'm to drunk. like to sum it up, don't go by land. Don't go by air. Don't go by sea. <laughs> don't go by fucking sea. struggle. Yes, because you're <laughs> very long way from the sea. Somewhere with a paddle boat. Yeah, if, if you're going to dig, watch out for radioactive worms and all that weird stuff on the ground. Watch out for the J-Rods that are going to take you and harvest your juices. And that's pretty much it, right? Yeah, there's definitely nothing else that could no, go no, wrong. No, I think that's everything. Getting mowed down by literally any form of American weapon. <laughs> yeah, yeah, all those weird ships that are going to fly in from the sky with no inertia and just, like, scoop you up. But yeah, just obviously, <laughs> it should go without saying, but be careful, guys. Yeah. Don't do anything stupid. No, no. We we all appreciate a good joke, but be safe. Yes. Just take loads of water with you as well. Because yeah, because it's going to be it hot. Fucking inhospitable yeah. as dicks. I remember when everyone starts walking up to that gate, don't be at the front. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, stay at the back. <laughs> ten bodies deep for bullets. Or... Remember, ten bodies deep. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I discovered another place that they can go to that's nearby. Mm-hmm. It's called the Alien Cat House. Um, there right. is an alien That's... themed brothel. Oh, that I was going to say that's exactly what it sounded like. <laughs> <laughs> Do they dress up? Is that what we're talking here? Um, it's actually a sex vacation de- destination that caters specifically to customers with alien fetishes. So, wow. has I'm not going to um, be around they... for the next. Yeah, three I got to go. <laughs> <laughs> I got to go. They actually they have. Um, I need a fly now. Apparently, the centerpiece of the facility is called the Alien Abduction and Probing Room. So. Wow. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. I'm coming back. <laughs> Cancel my tickets. Yeah. <laughs> They're not refundable. Yeah. Fuck you. No, there is there has been a weird spate about like weird this is gonna get weird now. Alien sex fetish things online. Uh, Did you see that weird no. splorp dildo thing? This is what? gonna get adult now. Splop dildo thing. Splop dildo. I'm more surprised that does that say more about you or me? I don't know. I have not seen this. I didn't search this. This came up on like Lad Bible or something. Oh right. I thought you were gonna say like if it comes up in your like suggested things, yeah. it's because of stuff you've searched. No, it doesn't work Give like me that. this shit. I refuse to believe it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm clearly not the one looking at I d I don't even know what to suggest for this. No, I mean well, yeah, our grief burrito accounts on YouTube are linked to whatever I search for, Jordan gets. So if I search for stuff, <laughs> you'll get it. Yeah. I'm going to search some crazy <laughs> stuff now. Please, no. Yeah, essentially what it was. Lucky you, George. It's like... Yeah, thanks. Right, buckle in now. It's going to be... It's a hollow dildo. Hollow? <laughs> hollow. That's like an alien Why? tentacle. So do you put your dick in it? No, it goes inside <laughs> you. Okay. And then you put alien eggs that are made from gelatin in the bottom and squeeze them up so it impregnates you. Oh, my right. God. I know. I'm that... covering my face because I can't stand it. <laughs> This is a real thing, and I could not believe it. Right, I'm, I'm really sorry. Did, did they say at all how much it costs? I need one. No. 
<laughs> well, yes. <laughs> well, no, but yes. But yes. Think about the research and development that has gone into that. that. Yeah, I know. And some guy is like, how much are we going to sell this for? Yeah. Some guy has had to go into a meeting with a distribution center. Yeah. Right, guys. Amazing product. We need research. This puts <laughs> eggs inside you. Yeah. And it's like I want to know what the first thing. iterations of this their testing looked like I know. before they got to where it's at. It's just you a massive have... turkey baster filled with beans. <laughs> <laughs> baked beans. <laughs> yeah? There's nothing more alien food wise than baked fucking beans. Can you Give me that shit. Walking into someone <laughs> testing that with the baster, like stood on the kitchen counter. <laughs> Not even stood just bent over with their arm behind them and they just turn when you walk in like <gasps> <laughs> Shut the door! What are you doing here? <laughs> Mom, why don't you knock? <laughs> First uh, the Hoover, now this! <laughs> this is why we can't have nice things. Oh, God. Is... I'm so sorry. <sighs> yeah. I'm sorry, Leanna. Like, our episodes have never got like this. I'm not. I brought it up. Yeah. It's fine. This is, yeah. this is a good point. It's your fault. This is your fault. That's fine. I know. Uh, yeah. I mean... I mean, I'll, I'll put links to this on the show notes. Yeah, man. If you guys want to see it, or if you're weird enough to buy one, go for it. Yeah, if you want to send us one. If you want to send us one, we'll don't. stick it on the wall. <laughs> don't. <Yeah. laughs> no, I'd say to be fair, we've got a glass display cabinet out there, and I'm going to be buying another one. So yeah, if sweet. we get... I'm not saying send us fan mail, because that sounds super yeah, yeah. dickish. But if you do ever want to send us anything, we'll set up a P.O. box. Yeah, something. send us some weird shit if you like. And, and we'll it'll go it. on display. And then every time I walk past it, I'll shake my head. Yeah. <laughs> the grief container. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. I'm a container for grief. Yeah, I'm a container <laughs> right now. <laughs> I regret this. <laughs> right. And I think that should conclude our... Uh, Area 51. That's probably my favorite episode so yeah, far. That's been really good fun. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Liana. You've made this amazing. You really have. Oh my gosh. This great. has been Thank so you. much fun, guys. Yeah. I, I really like, appreciate being on here. It's, it's crazy because like, I started listening to your podcast before I even had a podcast. And it's the most surreal thing to have you on ours. Yeah. It's Aww. crazy. It really is. Like, it's, it's really nice to see how much, not only our podcast, but yours and all the other guys in the Odd Pod Squad which is our new network, which you can all check out. There's Woo-hoo! loads of amazing podcasts on there. <laughs> Shout out to all you guys. To see how much we've all grown and the support between the community. Like, Jordan's got a proper little grin on his face. He's, like, trying not to smile. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's just like, wow. No, gay. it's really cool. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's well, great. we wouldn't even be part of the Odd Pod Squad if it weren't for you, because Erica and I, we do what we can with social media, mm-hmm. but um, she's got a baby, and I am social media awkward so yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, social media is hard way. like it's it's a hard thing to do it, it can be mind-numbing sometimes but oh yeah i i just i only mainly do it that much because of then the people that you start talking to yeah like i love chatting to the other people like i got a message before in um i was actually in costa coffee this morning getting breakfast and stuff and i got a message from some random listener saying we're really enjoying the podcast and we just started chatting and that is what i love yeah, it's great. Love that. I'd love to have those kind of interactions, but I'm just like, I leave it all to Has because he's just way better at it than me. It's like we <laughs> have a game key that we need to send out. And yep. he, I just said, like, I think you're better doing it. You'll just be way better. <laughs> but it's just one of those where, you know, like I enjoy being on the podcast mm-hmm. and especially editing the videos is like really fun for me. Yeah. Um, okay. But it's just, I'm not great with social media. So we're definitely in the same boat, Liana. Yeah. I, yeah. I mean, I, I want to be better at it, but I guess just I. I don't know. I'm socially awkward, <laughs> but yeah. I try my best. <laughs> no, I completely get it. Yeah, you're doing well for being socially awkward. I mean, like you've just well, thank you. essentially called into a load of people that you've never really spoke to before. We've had chats, but only through text, you know. Or True. It, I guess I definitely it, had a bit of a panic attack this morning. I was like, pound a bunch of coffee. It's going to be fine. <laughs> we're already best friends now. It's yeah, fine. We're all BFFs. Woo! Yeah, yes. we'll definitely be coming I to visit it. sometime. Yes. Well, we want to go to E3 next year, like we said. Yeah. We were trying to get to over there. Um, so we have a spare there. bedroom. <gasps> You'll have to share it with my pod cave, but you know. Yeah, her there's... pod cave is in like a cupboard thing. Oh, that's super cool. Oh, it's in it's my walk in closet that's for so our cool. second bedroom. We need to get a picture of this room, by the way. To yeah. Show people what our recording area Set up is. Like. Yeah, because we're actually going to put up our scratch map today. And we're going to be doing another little live video. So we're going to scratch off where everyone is. Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. Yes. So I can't wait to do that. It's so weirdly exciting just to scratch off a map. But. Yeah. It's really nice. To, like, don't you feel the same, Leanna, when you look at the map of where your listeners are from? I love looking at that map. I think it's so cool. Like, when we first got Australia, I was like, yes! <laughs> and then we got, like, Thailand or something, and I was like, what the hell? Like, how did we even get over there? That's same. so cool. We've got to live in Thailand as well. 
Yeah, I wonder somehow. if they're similar listeners, you know, because we always talk about each other and stuff. I wonder if it, it's very the same true. guys working <laughs> through everything. Well, there are a lot of expats in there are, yeah. in uh, Thailand, aren't oh. there? So possibly. Maybe. Maybe. And I'm wondering whether, whether my mate Doug's telling people, because I've got a yeah. friend who lives there, so he's been telling people about our podcast. Transferring it like an STD. Yes. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> Alien STD. <laughs> Sorry, that was probably the least pleasant thing yeah. that's been said today. I know, at Doug's at home listening like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, never mind. So let's let's get into some uh, new plays for the end of our episode. Things ever watched and played to recommend to you. Have you been playing anything new? Uh, Cross Team Racing. Oh, um, I've it? actually been playing <laughs> it this time instead of just sitting there and fucking looking at it. Because yeah. it has turned up a little late. So I started it. Yeah, yeah. It's like, right, let's do a race. And then he banged on the door. I was like, God damn it. Damn, fucking has. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, other than that, not really much. Yeah. I've just been playing a lot of For Honor because I am doing ranked and yeah, I'm, I'm that smashing game. it. Smashing. I'm actually not terrible. It's great. Really? Yeah, I can mind game. The I'm not fuck good. Out of people. I'm not terrible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I am not the best, but yeah. not the worst. <laughs> Take from that what you will. Yeah. Uh, what about you, Leanne? Have you been playing anything recently? Oh, I just replay my old games because I only have my PS4 right now. I don't have a gaming computer. I'm using a little sad laptop right now. Yeah, <laughs> so, right, it all works. What are you playing on, soon, on PlayStation then? Oh, God. I just keep replaying all my old stuff. Like, um, Give me the name. Horizon Zero Tell Dawn, ah. <laughs> Witcher 3. Actually, I busted out my PS3 the other day because I was oh. like, I want to play... <laughs> This is kind of embarrassing. I like Fallout New Vegas. I don't know why. It's Everyone so clunky. Does. And it's... it's. I love that it's game. Di- yeah. I love it. I think it's so fun. Plus, I've actually been past a bunch of the places that exist in that world. Oh, yeah. wow. So I'm like, oh, this is so cool. Like, I've actually been on the Prim roller coaster, which is terrifying. Wow. And is it all I wooden, love... isn't it? Is it it's wooden? still open. And if you're too tall, they won't let you ride it. Oh no! Well, that's me not being able to ride it then. <laughs> you can <laughs> totally get decapitated. I think somebody's been decapitated on that Whoa. ride. Oh man, that would be. Imagine getting up to heaven and just know, being yeah. like, "What happened? <laughs> You'll never fucking believe yeah. this." <laughs> <laughs> because it's always like you must be this tall to ride, isn't it? Yeah. Never. You can't be this tall to ride. With all the and they specifically say don't put your hands up or anything because yeah. I mean it's rattly and there are low points oh, that yeah. are just very oh, my scary. God. Like I just... I'm five five and I still felt like everything was way too close really? to my head. Oh god, I'm definitely not going on. Because no. um, <laughs> we were talking about Blackpool before, and this is like perfect because you're talking about roller coasters. I was there okay. when I was a little kid, and I remember that I'd I'd fallen down this thing and I'd cut my leg open, so I was sat in the medical tent getting Aww. sorted out. And so it was fine. I was all right. It wasn't that bad. But then the guy's radio, the paramedic's radio, suddenly burst into life. And he was like, oh, God, oh, God, I've got to go. I've got to go. And we were like, why? What's happened? And he's like, someone put their hand up on the big one, which is the big roller coaster there, and got a seagull through the hand. (laughs) Oh, my God. (laughs) His beak went straight through his palm and it was stuck through. And he was just like, ah! Like fucking flapping about and he couldn't get his hand out. <laughs> fucking stop moving. Oh, God. I don't want to be here as much yeah. as you do. Yeah. And I was like, oh, yeah, go. I'm fine. <laughs> My knee's fine. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's oh that is, that's a nightmare. You know, we get some big seagulls here called herringles and they are giant. Yeah, that suck. It's like a penguin sticking through your hand. <laughs> well, at least you found dinner, though. I know, I'm surprised cool. it didn't just fly away with him, like attached to it. Like, oh, God. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. So there you go. Oh, that's awful. (laughs) Uh, Speaking of the Fallout stuff, though, Mm -hmm. I have in the cabinet and downstairs. Yeah. So I've got the Fallout 76 special uh, collector's edition with the helmet. Yeah, he's got a proper helmet Uh and a power arm. I have the Fallout 3 lunchbox with the bobblehead. I have the Fallout New Vegas collector's edition, one of 7,500 with the platinum chip and everything like that. My brother's got a Pip Boy. Does he? It's got a proper oh, pit bull. I kind of want one yeah, of those. You, you build it. I wanted mm. one, yeah. and then I looked at the cost, and I was like, never mind. Yeah. And then <laughs> I also have the collector's edition of the PC variation, where it comes in a mini nuke with all yeah, the games and so sleeves. Cool. If you oh, press the button, so then cool. it makes the explosion. Oh, it was really? 60 pounds. No way. That was it. 60 Isn't pounds. Isn't it like 59 for the normal version? Well, something like it. It's from game, yeah. But they had a promotion on. Like no way. 60 quid. Great. That's so good. I love like collector's Damn. editions of games. As long as they're and not cheap. Gets- the Destiny 2 yeah. one's really good because it comes with like a proper Frontier bike shoulder bag. Oh, I'll show cool. you it. It's nice that you get something you can use with some of them. Yeah, that was 25 quid. It was just oh, wow. game had a backlog of new stuff. 
And they, they always sh- have stuff like that. It's so weird. Do you get game in America, Liana? No, we have GameStop. <laughs> yeah, it's probably yeah. the same company, knowing those big companies. Yeah, but probably. GameStop's yeah. weird. That's where I got my um, Dark Souls two Faram Knight statue. Oh, really? In uh, Florida. No way. In some random mall. Yeah. <laughs> so, so cool. It was super cheap. I was yeah. super happy. Well, yeah, it's good. it's super cheap because when you change pounds to dollars you like yeah. double your the money tax, it's great. though the oh yeah the tax is fucking bullshit oh the tax is nightmarish especially in to... california beware <laughs> oh i know you yeah figure remember. that shit out yourself yeah i know that's weird like you walk up to the tell them like, i was always i was always like oh i've got the right change put it down he's like and it's an extra 67 cents and i'm like what the giant fly just come in oh that's right Go yeah, out the no, other i window. just assume i just assume that anything that i'm buying i'm well it says 45 dollars, but off. really that means it's more like 50 right, when... okay fine yeah no, like in, in England, everything's already calculated. Yeah, it's literally, if it says 99p, you pay 99p. Yeah, it's That's already it. worked in. Yeah. Must Although, be nice. Yeah, well, you've, you've been <laughs> over here, haven't you? So you, I, I feel like yeah, I don't really need to tell you that. Ah. Uh, yeah. That's what happens when you have different states and they all want different things and spend money on different stuff. And oh, yeah, because statewide, blah, isn't blah, it? Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Nationalize it. Yeah. I, I'm trying to think what I've been playing new. I've I've mainly just been smashing Sekiro, and I've actually got good at it now. Oh, you I got can do get, it. Get good. I I, I get it good. It's, it's taken me. <laughs> I get into my goods. Playing, <laughs> I get in my goods. I've been playing it for probably like six months. I I killed a giant ape, chopped its head right off its body. It's pretty cool. It's like this giant. If people have played it, know what I'm talking about. It's this giant ape, and it's it's like a, a white gorilla kind of thing, and it's got a big samurai sword through its neck. And then, like, with the, the finishing move, you sort of grapple onto the samurai sword and twist it round and chop its head off. And then it only fucking gets back up without its head, and you've got to fight it again. And it's yeah. using its sword. It's fucking gross. And you've got to, like, pull a centipede out of its neck and yeah. then, like, try and kill it. <laughs> you played inside, right? Uh, no, oh, bits. Yeah, do you know the bit with the pig where you've yeah, got to pull the thing out I've of his butt? It. Yeah. Like that. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> <laughs> and then I went into the cave that this thing was guarding and I got this white lily that was all like shiny and glowy. And then on the description when you get it, it says he was guarding it for his bride. And I was like, oh, now I just feel bad. I've just killed a fucking romantic ape. And then I, I ate it. And, yeah, and, ate. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then I had to fight it and its wife at the same time. And I fucking did it first try without dying. Good job, man. Yeah, I could not believe it. I had I'd finished all my health potions. I had like a millimeter sliver of health left. And me and my dad were sat there like, oh my God, oh my God, I'm doing it. And then I killed it. And I was like, yes. <laughs> I'm certain that they got back up. Muff, oh, son of a shit. bitch. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was great. It's, uh, so I'm actually enjoying it now. It's really opened up a lot more and I feel like I'm Sekiro. Like, I am ninja. I am. You fucking have to call me the samurai now. Call no. me the samurai. No. Call me. I fuck call, no. <laughs> <laughs> call me. Call me. <laughs> nah, isn't that um, the guy out of Cyberpunk? Uh, okay. Samurai. The main character. Oh, yeah, that's what he's called. Yeah, yeah. Samurai. Yeah. You're going to have to call me Samurai. Samurai. Oh, yeah. Bitch. Bitch. Yes. And so that is everything. That's all I've got for today's episode. Oh, mate. We have run through. We've got through an amazing day. You can go for a nap now, Liana. Yeah, you can go for a nap now. No way. I'm up now. Yeah, now yeah. I got to do stuff. I can't. Oh. I, I, I'll nap at like three. PM. We've got to record video games now as well. We do, yeah. We've and got live stuff. Plays. And live stuff. And we're going to keep the energy up because I'm okay. definitely wow. not falling asleep yeah. from being hungover. You guys are. <laughs> <laughs> are awesome i yeah when we're when erica and i are done recording we're both like okay i gotta go we also do it at night though yeah and she goes and watches night, like you? bachelorette or some garbage and on netflix i go find whatever <laughs> horrible horror movie i can find on so oh by the way we didn't mention this i'm so sorry i know you guys are trying to go but no, okay. no, we're not the urgent, area 51 movie oh yeah i did yeah. watch it and uh-huh. it is awful <laughs> <laughs> it's so bad this but is- also I kind of recommend it because I mm. love garbage horror no, and it's like terrible. But uh, big caveat, fast forward like 45 minutes in because like the first half of the movie is them fiddling with their equipment, finding ways into the the uh, base, which they use like this weird suit that cools their body temperature because they're like, they have thermal scanners. So we got to oh, get in and blend in. And style. Once you actually get onto the base in the movie, then that's when it's a little more exciting. But it's still like super nauseating because it's the found camera footage kind of movie oh, where they're okay. just running around. So if that makes you sick, don't watch it. It gets all like right. and motion also, sickness stuff. Yeah, it's like the Blair Witch crap. Uh, right, okay. But it reminds me of like the first one where you're just like, what? 
I'm going to barf. I can't watch this anymore. <laughs> okay, no worries. The Area 51 video But yeah, definitely uh, yeah. give it a try, but fast forward. Do okay. yourself a favor. We will do. <laughs> <laughs> right. Let's end it there. Thank you very much for coming right. on, Leanna. I really appreciate it. Thank you, you so us. much for invo inviting me. <laughs> <laughs> inviting. You invited me. <laughs> it's been <Invo> wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> it has. It's been amazing. I'm so tired. It's okay. You but yes, thank you so much for inviting me. Erica and I love your guys' podcast. Oh, like it's a... it's you. always my number one that I listen to. Okay, you guys are out on Wednesday. We're out on Wednesday. Yeah. It's Wednesday buddies. Perfect. Aww. Yeah. Oh, love your, Wednesday buddies. Love your guys' stuff too. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. I listen awesome. to you guys like every Wednesday morning. I'm sat playing Sekiro, shouting, getting annoyed, and you guys are like <laughs> calming me down. <laughs> it's okay, Harrison. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. Oh, <laughs> no, it's great. That's Thank awesome. you so much. It's right. been amazing. Thank you guys for listening, you, and we'll see you on the next episode of the Grief Breeder Podcast. Yeah, don't soon. forget to check us out on Twitter, on Instagram, on YouTube, because we've got over a hundred followers now. So we've got the official Grief Burrito Earl. Yeah, YouTube.com forward slash Grief Burrito. A fish meets. Oh, fish. <laughs> Fish. <laughs> yeah man and uh don't forget if you want to join our patreon if you want to help us make this crazy weird show about alien sex toys and all strange manner of games <laughs> then you can find us at grief burrito on there and uh i think we might make a new tier for one dollar where you get all the backlogs of stuff and all the show notes because i feel like a lot of big episodes like this you might benefit from doing a bit of reading behind the episodes yeah so That's i think fine. we might set that up and see how it goes yeah i actually need to get on the discord and actually if yeah. people uh, have a chat and shit yeah chat not and to shit. sound big headed or anything <laughs> but I'll, I'll i'll be there right let's end it there see you soon guys see ya bye bye bye, bye.